Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, Mr. Julio, how are you? Very good, thanks. I'm very happy to hear that. Hello, Elva. It's hello. nice to see you. Good evening. I am doing great. Very happy to, to be here with you, to listen to each of you. Hello, Anna, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Good evening. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here with all of you. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Miss Evelyn, how are you? Very good, teacher. Ah, well, I'm very happy to hear that. Hello, Elena. It's nice to see you. Hello, Mr. Carlos. Welcome to the class. Hello. Hi, it's a Hello, pleasure to see you. Good evening. Mr. Eduardo, welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Ingrid. It's a pleasure to have you here. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Remember, when we enter to the class, we say good evening. When we leave, we say good night because you are going to sleep. Okay. Cuando ya no vamos a dormir, decimos good night. Pero mientras tanto y seguimos despiertos y okay. saludamos, decimos good evening. Okay. <coughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. So, hello, Mr. David. Welcome. I can see Evelyn now. Very good. And I am missing Josué. It's the only one that I cannot see right now. Well, how was your weekend, my dear students? Good, bad, so-so, excellent, fantastic, marvelous. How was your weekend? There in the camera, you can tell me good, bad, so-so, fantastic, marvelous, good, good, they say. So-so, Elena. Oh. <clears throat> okay, good. Very good. Well, today we're going to start the class. As everybody has the cameras on, we're going to take advantage of that. Ingrid, I am missing your camera and Josue Alexander, I am missing your camera. I need your cameras, please. Thank you very much. And Noemi that is connecting. I need my dear students to look for something, look for an object with the color blue. Look for an object with the color blue. I have a pen already. Pen, good. Show me in the camera. An object, a blue object. Good, very good, very good. Mr. Carlos, look for an object, a blue object. Very good. Excellent, excellent. Show it to me in the camera. Very good. Mr. Julio, what is your object? A blue object. A blue object. Ah, but look for one. Busquemos un objeto azul. Go ahead, show it in the camera. I have this pen. Good. I need you to look for something red. Something red. I have one thing here. I have a hat. A hat, but it's red. Something red. Good, very good. I have a Christmas hat. Good, something red. Something pink, something pink. I have my phone. Something pink, pink. Very good, pink, pink, pink. Safe, very good, very good. Something pink. I have my phone. Hey, Elena, we have the same cover. Something pink. Okay, we're missing Mr. David. Mr. David is looking for something there. Un combo, una taza, whatever. Something pink, hey, very good, very good. Excellent, Julio, very good. I need you to look for something green. Something green. 
I have something green right here. <laughs> green, very good, very good. Say <laughs> a plant, Helen. <laughs> good, very good. Hey, <laughs> the panera. <laughs> All the semitas were flying. <laughs> Good. Let's look for something black. Something black. I have something black right here. A scarf. Oh, your cell phone. Very good. My Very heart. Good. My heart. <laughs> there you go. Something black. Very good. Something purple. Something purple. My goodness. Something purple. Hey, I have a book. I have a book. A purple book. Purple. Good. And right now, I need you to look for something strange. An strange object that you have in your house. An strange object. Let me see. Something strange. Maybe... Okay, this one. I have my strange object. Do you have your strange object? Something is strange that you find there. Okay, good. Everybody has an strange object. Okay, is that a mortero there? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, now I need you to invent, I need you to invent one sentence Telling me, what are you going to do with the object? What are you going to do with the object? Okay. Invent one sentence about what are you going to do with the object? I have this strange object here. It's, a, it's an owl. And I am going to... Uh, I am going to create a, a button for my phone with it. I am going to use it on my phone to hold the phone, okay? I am going to use it to decorate my phone, okay? That's my, my object and my purpose. What are you going to use the object for? Invent a purpose for the object. I am going to dance with it. I am going to inflate balloons. Okay, you are going to inflate balloons. Very good. You are going to inflate balloons with your object. What are you going to do with the object? I am going to play. With You're going my to play. Toy. Okay, very good. You're going to play. What about the rest of you? What I'm are you going? You are going to? Pencil. Ah, but you are going to? I am going to pencil. Ajá. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con el lápiz? Okay, el lápiz es el objeto, right? I have a pencil, but what are Read. you going to do? Write. 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 Good, very good. Teacher, how yes? do you say ejercitarse? Exercise. Exercise. I'm going to exercise? I am going to. Object. Okay, show me the object. I am going to exercise, you say. Good, I am going to exercise. I am going to eat chocolate. Ah, you have, you have chocolates there. You have chocolates. Okay. I'm going to eat them. Good. So, English, I am going to write, you say. Elena, I am going to exercise. Eduardo, he is going to play with the toy. What else? What other objects do we have? Julio, what is your object? Mm. ¿Cuál era su I, uh, I am going to do charge. Cargador. I, okay. I am going to charge my phone. My phone. I am going to charge my phone. Good, because you have a charger. Excellent. Elba, what is your object? I am going to my, my play on cell phone. I am going to play. Right, I am going to play. Anna, what is your object? I think it is a dinosaur. I don't know. A dinosaur. Uh, maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> but what so, are you going uh, to do? I'm going to scare my to my niece. Okay, you're going to scare your niece. 
Wait, the dinosaur. Good. Very good. Let me see. Uh, uh, Mr. David, what is your object? I am going pinterest. I am Solar. going. To, okay, I am going to paint. I am going to paint. paint. Okay. Very good. Evelyn, okay. what is your object? I am going to paint. I am going to paint. Very good. Evelyn, what is your object? I am going not a book, another. Okay. What? ¿Cuál era su objeto? Mm, el libro. Aha. So, I am going to read. I am going to write. I am going to study. I okay. am going to a notebook study. I am going to study with the notebook. I am going to study with the notebook. Very good. Mr. Elmer, what is your object? A marker. Uh -huh. What are you going to do? The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen to you. I am going to the write in the blackboard. I am going to write in the board. You say I'm going to write in the board. Very good. Let's see, Mr. Carlos, what is your object? I am control watch television. I am going to watch television, right? Because you have a control, a remote control. Let me see, uh, Rocio, what is your object? Marker. It's a marker. What are you going to do with the marker? I am going to paint with my marker. I am going to paint with my marker. Very good. Ingris, what is your object? Ah, you told me already. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ya le pregunté. Sorry. I am. Oh, I lost English. Also, Alexander, what is your object? I am going to play my guitar. Okay, I'm going to play the guitar. I'm going to play the guitar. Marisol, what are you going to do with your object? I'm missing Marisol and Cesar. I, oh, there, there you go. Go, 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 go. Go, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Your object is the bed. <laughs> and <laughs> Cesar, what is your object? My life object is a question mark. <clears throat> oh, sorry. You 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 came a little bit later. Eh, todos tenían un objeto y estábamos diciendo qué íbamos a hacer con ese objeto. Ah, okay. Okay, so Cesar is going to study here in the class. Well, my dear students, thank you very much. A clap for everybody. You did a very good job with your objects. I don't know if I am missing anybody. Se me queda alguien que no le pregunté. No? Five, four, three, two, one, no one. Okay, good. So today we're going to continue practicing going to. Right, that is what we are going to do in our class. We are going to practice the holidays and also we are going to practice going to. And for this one, we are going to use different forms of questions with going to. And we are also going to use uh, the different celebrations, right? The different celebrations that we have in our everyday thing, right? We have questions with going to. Today is our class number three. Remember our agreements. Today I am going to ask Elba Carolina to help me to read the first four. You are going to read the first four agreements and Elmer is going to read number five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Elba, read number one, two, three, and four. Read, read. Number one, two, three, and four. Number one, practice to English as much as possible. Very good. Number two, ask for help when needed. Number three, to keep your camera 
on all the time. Very good. Number four. Number four. Keep microphone or if we are not used then. Very then. good. Excellent job. Now, Mr. Elmer, number five. Attend all your session on time. Very good. Participate as, as much as possible. Very good. Keep a co... What do you mean to say cooperative? Cooperative, cooperative. Okay. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. And uh, collaborate. Collaborate with your friends and the WhatsApp group. Very good job. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Remember that if you have difficulties or an exercise on something, ask on the group, right? And we are going to be more than glad to help you. So <clears throat> today we are going to uh, make a little guessing game, right? What do you think? What do you think these people are going to do? Here you have different people with different types of clothing, right? Different people with different types of clothing. What do you think they are going to do? I have here Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jane. What do you think they are going to do? Just by looking at the pictures. Maybe Jane is an artist. Uh -huh. Maybe. Maybe Jane is an artist, you say, uh huh? Good. Robert, maybe accountant. Robert is an accountant, you say, okay. Or, or, or lawyer. Or a lawyer, good. What yeah. other ideas do you have? What other ideas do you have? Elena. Um, Kevin is going to uh, dance. Kevin is going to dance. Okay, good. What about Michelle? What do you think Michelle is going to do? A student. Michelle is going to study. Maybe. Michelle is going to do exercise. She's going to do exercise. Why? Why do you think that? For the t-shirt. The t-shirt that she's going to the gym. Hmm, maybe. Okay. So any other guess? What do you think? What did what do the others think? Uh huh Other ideas? No? Well, so you say that Michelle is going to the gym. Well, in real life. Well, according to my book, Michelle is going to her house, right? Michelle is going to her house. She's going to study, but she only has the clothing for the gym. Kevin, Kevin is going to listen to music, right? He is going to listen to music. Robert, according to the book, is going to work late at home, right? because he didn't finish working in the office. And Jane, she's going to listen to jazz because she bought her new CD. So according to the appearance. Imagine that we have to analyze people because of the appearance. Si les dijera que analizáramos a la gente por la apariencia, veamos todos a Elena. Imagínense que Elena es una foto. ¿Qué creen ustedes que Elena estará, va, va a hacer en este momento? She's there, she's a picture. What do you think Elena is going to do right now? Si no estuviéramos en clase y vieran la foto de Elena ahorita, ¿qué creyeran ustedes que va a ser ella? Maybe Elena is going to listen to music. She's going to listen to music, right? She's going to listen to music. What about Julio? Imagine that you, you see Julio and he's not in class, but that is the picture that you see. What do you think? What do you think he's going to do? I think he's going to have a meeting at the office. Yes. 
What do you she think the teacher to, to work? He's going to work. What is the teacher going to do? She's going to celebrate. Or she's going to <laughs> she's going to celebrate Christmas, right? If you see just if you just see people by their appearance, you can imagine many things, right? Right. <clears throat> imagine if you see the teacher like this. What do you think the teacher is going to do? Teacher is going to go. She's going to celebrate. She's going to celebrate. She's going to go to the park, right? Or maybe she's going to go to a party or something, right? Or maybe she's going to sleep like a little viejita. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. So here we were trying to guess what people are doing, right? And oh. as we were studying in the previous class, we were talking about the different holidays that we have in our country. And I ask you to investigate about this. Here I have some examples of the different celebrations. Celebrate. What celebrations do we have here on the picture? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. New Year's Day. Independence Day. Independence Day. Independence Day. Independence Day. Good. Independence Day. Independence. Independence Day. Halloween. 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 Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Christmas. And Christmas. 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 Good. Tell me, when when do we celebrate New Year's Day? January 1st. Okay, it's January 1st. January 1st. January 1st. What about Valentine's Day? February 14th. February 14th. What about Independence Day? Um, September, September. 15. 15. It is okay. July 4th. Here, here in El Salvador is September 15, right? But in the United States is July 4th. Very good. The next one we have here. It's Halloween. When do people in the United States celebrate Halloween? October 31st. October 31st, right? October 31st. What about Thanksgiving? When is Thanksgiving celebrated? It's the 4th. Thursday or Thursday in November. And what about Christmas? December. December 25. December 25. December 25. December 25th. December 25th. December 25th. Right? Very good. Tell me, when is your birthday? My birthday is on November 12th. Okay. Let me see. I am going to stop here. Okay, 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 okay. Oigo una novela y no es la mía. Okay. Let's see. Eduardo, when is your birthday? September 15th. September 15th, the most beautiful day of the year because it's my birthday too. Julio, when is your birthday? My birthday is February 26th. February 26th. Daisy, when is your birthday? My birthday is January 6th. Okay, excellent. So as you can see here, when you mention a special date, you tell me first the month and then the day. And the day has to be for sure 
in an ordinal number form, right? As you can see here, October 31st. In British English, in British English, it's very common that you use the number first and then the month, right? So if you see it in different books like this, it is because it's British English, okay? Tenemos el inglés, el inglés británico, que es muy común en el, el área del Reino Unido y todas estas áreas. Y ellos a veces ocupan el número primero. You say 31st October, 4th July, but it's the same and it is correct in British English. In American English, that is the one that we are using right here, it's first the month and then the date. So from these four, from these one, two, three, four, five, six celebrations, which one do you like more? From the six Christmas. celebrations, Eduardo likes Christmas. Which one do you like more? Christmas. Christmas, Elena? Christmas too. Christmas, Julio. Elena, which one? Yeah. Hey. New Year's Day, good, very good. Let's see, the rest of you, which is your favorite Smart. celebration? And my favorite celebration is Independence Day. Independence Day. Very good. Me too. <laughs> and Eduardo too. <laughs> because it's our birthday. Who likes Valentine's? Who Hello. likes Valentine's? A quien le gusta Valentine's? Who likes Valentine's? I don't. I like Valentine's. You don't oh. like Valentine's. Anna likes Valentine's. Good. Who likes Halloween? Mm. Daisy likes Halloween. No? <laughs> Valentine's. <laughs> Carlos, do you <coughs> like Halloween? Yeah, that's cool. Right? So, so. so, so. Okay, good. Let's see. Who likes Thanksgiving? I like Thanksgiving. It's kind of nice. No, you don't, and Black Friday? Ah, Black Friday, yes, right? Black oh, Friday, okay. you know, Black Friday comes from Thanksgiving because it's the day after Thanksgiving. And why? Because in the United States, people have all these offers for Thanksgiving and when they don't sell anything, they have the Black Friday. Ponen toda una semana de ofertas para Thanksgiving y todo lo que no se vende en esa semana de ofertas pasa al Black Friday. Y el Black Friday es con lo que se vende más barato de todo lo que pusieron para Thanksgiving. Pero aquí en El Salvador es al revés. Aquí es como, ay, llévaselo todo y al mismo precio. Súper caro. Okay? It's like, come on. No. <laughs> so you have to be very careful with Black, with Black Friday. You have to be very, very careful. Maybe in the United States, it's very nice because people find very good things, but here in El Salvador, it's like, no. Yesterday, $20. Black Friday, $40. <laughs> You'll be like, okay, no, right? So, and that comes from uh, Thanksgiving. Black Friday comes from Thanksgiving. Good. So here I have a conversation. What is the name of the conversation? Have a good Have Valentine's, a Valentine's Day. Day. Have a good Valentine's Day. And can you look in the conversation? Busquemos en la conversación. The word Laguna. You found her? What is it, Carlos? Are you going to Angie? I think. Laguna, Laguna. Where is the word Laguna? ¿Dónde está la palabra Laguna en la conversación? Uh, Tyler. 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 So it says. Tyler. 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 It's Laguna. Her favorite. Very good. The word, the word girlfriend. <coughs> girlfriend. Tyler. Tyler. Uh -huh. Tyler. Give me yes, the sentence. I'm going to take my girlfriend up. Very I'm good. What about? Fun. Tyler. Uh-huh. 
Sounds like fun. Like fun. We'll have Sounds a good like Valentine's fun. Day. Very good job. Sounds like fun. About. About. Tyler. How Tyler. How about you? you? Like How, How about you? you? Very good. How about, How about you? you? The next one. Anything. Anything. Um, so, Tyler, are you going to do anything? Are you going to do anything? Very good. Excellent. Favorite. Favorite. Is favorite. Is favorite. Is favorite. favorite. Very good. 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 Tyler, Tyler. like fun when we have a Valentine's Day. Very good job. Very good job. You were looking for details. That is looking for details. Very good. So, uh, I am going to read the conversation. Listen for pronunciation, okay? What are we going to do right now? Listen. Listen. The con Listen. It says, okay, wait, wait, wait. there we go. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Repeat after me. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? So, Tyler, for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Yeah, yeah I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. Oh, oh she's, she's going, going to like that. To like that. How about you? What are you going to do? How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Sounds like Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Thanks, you too. Okay. In this conversation, we have to be careful because we have different expressions. In English, you have to be careful with the expressions because as we don't have accents, we need to give the correct pronunciation. Como no tenemos acento en el idioma inglés, como en español que tenemos árbol, y le ponen la tilde, y sabemos que ahí va una fuerza de voz. In English, we don't have. So we need to be very expressive with English. You cannot say, Oh, really? You say, oh, really? Right? Para que la otra persona entienda que usted está siendo expresivo y está siendo como el interés de la conversación. Si decimos, oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Mm, really? Mm. So you say, oh, really? Where are you going to go? And you want to know, right? But you say, like, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? you don't feel the interest, right? And if I say like, oh, she's going to like that, right? You feel that the person is going to like it. Imagínense que le digo, ah, she's going to like that. Ah, she's going to like that. You don't feel it, right? 
es como cuando les digo, sounds like fun. It's like, hey, suena divertido. Sounds like fun. It's like, mm, sounds like fun. Mm. Right? You don't feel the expression, right? Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Okay, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? You are asking the person, you feel the conversation, okay? No podemos ir por el mundo así como, so Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you going to go? You don't feel the English expressions, right? So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Mm. And you wait for the answer. ¿Qué le contesta Tyler? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Imagine if you say, yeah. Yeah. No, right? You don't feel it. So I am going to be Mona and you are going to be Tyler. So students, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm going, going to take, take my girlfriend yeah. out. Are you going to take my girlfriend out for dinner? Okay, the girls, your boyfriend, right? Yeah. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? How are you going to do? What are you going to do? You? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Thanks, you two. Excellent teacher. Very good job. Now you start. Comienzan ustedes. Go ahead. So, yeah, I am going to take my husband out for dinner. Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Are really? going to go? Are you going to go? Are you going to go? Um, Señor Gaucho, is his favorite restaurant. <laughs> oh, oh, oh so he's going to like that. Going to like that. Oh, going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, well I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Oh, restaurant. I am going, I'm going to, to dance. Going to dance. 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 Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. Hey, you too. Very good job, my dear students. Fantastic job. I really like when my students work on intonation. That's very good. Very, very, very good. Así no vamos por el mundo con mala entonación. That's very good. Let's continue here. So, as you can see in the conversation, we have different questions. What type of questions can you identify? Mm, the Valentine's Day. Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? This is the first question, right? Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Any other question? Uh, w H question. Where, where, are going going go? Go? where are you going to go? Another what, uh, what uh, are you going to go? Another one. Where are you going? What are you going to do? Another one. How about you? How about you? Right. This is a question. Even when it is not with going to. It's a question, right? How about you? How about you? Very good. And that's the, the only questions here. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. Well, no, oh, that's really? well, that's expression. Oh. That's an expression when you say, uh -huh, it has a question mark. Claro, tiene el question mark, pero es como una duda que dices, oh, really? Así como, ¿de veras? What? Oh, really? Uh -huh. It's not a question. In this case, it's an expression. When you say, oh, really? It's like when, when people say, te vi en metro y no me hablaste. Oh, really? Me? Ah, de verdad. <laughs> and maybe you didn't want to talk, right? Well, you were just walking. Oh, really? Uh -huh. But that's, uh, that's, a, that's a very good question. Si fuera admiración, 
igual lo podríamos ocupar como un signo de admiración, pero si le dijera, por ejemplo, ¡Ey! ¿Te traje un regalo? ¡Ah! ¿Really? Y le ponemos el signo de admiración. Uh -huh. Pero aquí es como la duda. ¿Oh, really? Así uh -huh. como, ¿de veras? Uh -huh. It's the purpose of the, of the sentence. And it's a very okay. good observation. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for the observation. It was very good. Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Is this a WH question or a yes, no question? It's a yes, no question. Yes, no question. Yes, no question. Ah, it's a yes or no question, right? Yes. Yes. Sorry for my, for my Picasso abilities. Yes, no question. If the question starts with the verb to be, like in this case, are you going to do? It's like yes or no. Because you are not asking for more information. But if I say, where are you going to go? Is it a WH question or a yes, no question? It's a WH question yes. and you need extra information. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? According to the conversation, where are you going to go? Lagunas. To Lagunas, right? How about you? How about you? It's like you are asking the question. Ivos, how about mm -hmm. you? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You need details, right? You need details. You need information for the chismecito, right? What are you going to do? <laughs> Give me more details, right? What? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance, okay? Here you have the different questions. And we are going to move to the next slide here. And I have more examples. When you have, when you say here, what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I am going to go to a dance or I am going to go, I am not going to go to a restaurant. You can have an affirmative answer or a negative answer. If you ask, where are you going to go? We are going to go to Lagunas. We are not going to stay home. The next question. How are you going to get there? Aquí preguntamos manera. How? How are you going to get there? We are going to drive. We are not going to take the bus. This, when you use who, ¿qué estamos preguntando cuando usamos who? Sí. ¿Quién? Exactly. ¿Quién? It's a person, right? Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister is not going to be there, okay? So these type of questions that I am going to use the board to explain this one, these type of questions are the ones that you use to collect information. If I ask you, for example, what are you going to do tomorrow? And you tell me, Well, tomorrow I have a date. Ah, I have it work. I have to work, right? What are you going to do tomorrow? I have to work. I have to study. I have to study. I have, I have a doctor. Practice. I have to go to the doctor, <clears throat> right? I have to go to the doctor. I have to practice English, right? Tomorrow I have to practice, right? And then you can have many different information, but let's see. Tomorrow I have a date. Si le digo yo, mañana tengo una cita. What is the next question that you will ask? Si fueran, fuéramos así como mis amigos super friends, ¿cuál fuera la siguiente pregunta que le hace su amiga? I have a date tomorrow. Ah. Who are you? Really? Oh, oh really? really? <laughs> I said, who are you going to see? Uh-huh. Who are you going to see? Y Juanito. Juanito. My classmate. Híjole. Oh, oh my God. Is it really? What is the next really? question? What is the next question? <laughs> 
<laughs> where, where are, where are where you, you Juanito? Very good question. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? To Multiplaza. How? We're going to go to Multiplaza. Ah! How? How? Uh -huh. How? How are you How going? Are... How are you? Okay, we say, going how are you going to get to... there? Mm -hmm. How are you going to get there? ¿Cómo nos vamos a ir con Juanito para Multiplaza? You give me the ideas. The bus. Bye, bus. <laughs> okay. Because bye, bye. you are a student. Bye, bye. bye. Step and step to your car, my Okay. 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 <laughs> We're going to go by bus. <laughs> We're going to go by bus. Uh huh. The next question. We need the complete chamber. So ask me the, the other questions. No. How old are you? How old? No, we, we are, we are no, 30, no. 30 something. <laughs> okay, mm. we are going to go to Multiplaza by bus. When are you going Wait. to the. Um, what? Uh, okay. When Our... are you going to the Multiplaza? When are you going to the date? When are you going to the date or what time? Right, when? Tomorrow. What time? What time are you going to go? We are going to go at 7 p.m. We are going to go at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. in Multiplaza by bus tomorrow. We're going to eat din dinner. Dinner. Oh, very good. Where are you going to eat dinner? Where are you going to eat dinner? Where are we going to eat with Juanito? No, no, vamos a comer con Juanito. A ver, ayúdenme a pensar. Pupusas. Mexican food. <laughs> Mexican food. So we are going to eat in the food court. What a boring thing. In the food court. We're going to eat in the food court. We're going to eat their China walk. The China. <laughs> and for sure, uh, let's see another question. What are you going to do next? ¿Qué van a hacer después? Ooh. Uh, student. Uh, we are going to study. Okay, okay, very good. We are going to study <laughs> because we have classes. We have English classes. We are going to study. Okay, you see, this is a very, a very nice date, right? We are going to go with Juanito to Multiplaza by bus. We are going to uh, eat in the food court, and then we are going to study. So. But all these questions were useful because we got information from me, right? And Juanito, right? That now everybody knows. Juanito me va a decir mañana, ¿por qué les contaste a todo? You see, it is, not a, it is not a secret anymore. So Juanito and I are going to go to Multiplaza tomorrow. Here, I have a little example of questions with going to, right? As you can see here, we have questions with going to. In this case, we need to be very careful because you need to use the correct form of the verb to be, right? If you have you, you have to use are, and if you have he, she, or it, we use is. So in this case, I am going to use my pen. And here I have, what are you going to do for Halloween? I don't know. And you have not do anything special. How can you complete here? I am no 
Anit. I am not, not I am not going, going to, to do, to do excellent. I am not going to do anything special. And the next one we have here. Well, Pat and I, Pat and I, two people, plural. Pat uh, and I are, are, are going to are going to what have, is the verb? Have. have. Uh, are going to have a party. Sure. Where have the party? Where are, 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 are Where are you going to have? Going to, going to have, have. Where are you going to have the party? Eat at Pat's house. It is. It is, it is Going to going to, to are going to be it is going to be it is going to be at Pat's house. What time is what time is the party going to start? What time is the party going to start at six and it? It's going to end around midnight. 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 Midnight is medianoche, right? Medianoche. And it is going to end around midnight. Who are you? 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 Going, going to, to invite. 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 Who are you going invite. to invite? We, we are going to ask. We are going to have ask all our good friends. All our good friends. So friends. important thing. Important thing. We need to use the verb to be going to and the verb in the normal form for you to complete the questions or for you to complete the sentences. If you have a WH question, we have the WH question word, the verb to be, the subject going to and the verb, right? We need to be very careful here. If you have a WH word here, like where, Right? If you have a WH word like where, here you are going to have the verb to be, the subject going to, and the verb in the normal form. Okay, That is the structure. If you have a normal sentence, you have the subject, the verb to be, going to, and the verb in the normal form. Okay, That is the structure that you follow when you create these type of sentences. Good. So, any question about this? Alguna pregunta, una duda que se nos queda? No? Is it clear? So, if we are clear, we are going to continue with the next exercise. Here. If you use also a the verb, uh, the verb, sorry, if you use activities with going to, you can also use time expressions, right? You can also use time expressions to mention that you are going to do something specific in a future time. If you say, for example, what are you going to do tonight? tonight. Okay. What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do next week? What are you going to do next month? What are, you, what are you going to do next Saturday? What are you going to do next summer? What are you going to do next Friday? Right? In this case, we use these type of sentences for you to express plans. Okay? Cuando vamos a hablar acerca de nuestros planes a futuro, we need to use time expressions. Right? What are you going to do on your next birthday? What are you going to do on Holy Week? 
This is the first, uh, the closest holiday that we have. What are you going to do for uh, Mother's Day? What are you going to do on Saturday? Okay, vamos a hacer una pregunta cercana. What are you going to do on Saturday? What are your plans for Saturday? I am going to the celebration. I go to swimming practice. Okay, I am going to a swimming practice. I am going to go to church. I am going to work, right? I'm going to go to a party. I am going to go to a party on Saturday, right? Remember, I am going to, English? Beach. I am going to go to the beach, right? Remember the structure. I am going to go to a party. I am going to study. I am going to clean. Si no van a ir a un lugar, no tenemos que ponerle go, ¿verdad? Si decimos que vamos a limpiar, I am going to clean, okay? I am going to study. I am going to swim. But if you are going to go to a place, I am going to go to the supermarket. I am going to go to the beach, okay? Si vamos a ir a un lugar específico, go to. I am going to go to, okay? But if you just want to express an activity that you are going to do, I am going to clean my house, I am going to wash the dishes, I am going to wash my clothes, right? So these are the forms of time expressions, right? Tell me one thing that you are going to do tomorrow. I am going to go to a work. Okay, I am going to go to a work. I am going to go to work. Teacher. Yep. How do you say entrevista de trabajo? Ah, here. I am going to write it here. I am going to have a job interview. Okay. I am going Thanks. to have a job interview. I am going to have a job interview. Very good job. Another thing that you are going Thanks. to do tomorrow. Let me see. Carlos, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to go drive. Okay, I am going to go. I am going to drive, you say. No podemos decir I am going to go drive. Porque go Going to go to, lo ocupamos con lugares. Si decimos, por ejemplo, I am going to go to the supermarket. You can use it, right? I am going to go to the supermarket. Julio, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, for example, um, I am going to exercise. I am going to exercise. Perfect. Noemi, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to visit a doctor. I am going to visit the doctor. Very good. Let's see. Eduardo, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to work. I am going to work. I'm going to play soccer. Okay, you are going to work and play soccer. Daisy. I am going to go at the I am going to go to the dentist. Oh my God. I am going to go to the dentist. Okay. Uh, Evelyn, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to the doctor. I am going to go to the doctor, right? I am going to go to the doctor. Joaquin, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to the uh, uh, laboratory exam. Sams. Okay. I that's that's a, that's the form of this question. I am okay. I am going to get some blood tests. 
I am sí. going to get some blood tests. Yes. Esos son exámenes de laboratorio. Marisol, what are you going to do tomorrow? Okay, we lost Marisol. Abigail, what are you going to do tomorrow? Abigail, what are you going to do tomorrow? Perdimos Abigail. <laughs> Rocío, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to do exam. I, you are going to do an exam, right? You are going to do an exam, an English exam for going to. Okay, so please, yes. Uh, how do you say uh, examen de la vista? Ah, an eye oh, test. Examen visual. That's a very good question. I am going to get an eye test. Let me write it for you. Here, it's you say, I am going to get an eye test. Eye test. An eye test. Okay. That is an un examen de la vista, okay? Well, my dear students, that's all for today. Please practice going to, because we are going to use it tomorrow for the practice in the final uh, section of this topic, okay? Tomorrow we are going to finish also the unit on the platform and we are going to finish this section of the class, going to, right? We're going to finish with the future. I am going to see you tomorrow for the next part of the class. Have a beautiful night and take care. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a beautiful tomorrow. night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.